Hi guys, this is Simeon from Swedish Homestead. Today I'm going to transplant my tomato plants from the 2x2 soil blocks, the 50x50mm, into the 4x4, the 10x10cm soil blocks. And I made a press to make my own soil blocks. Let's go see how that works. I'm so happy about this cold frame and the plants in there. I just want to show them to you real quick. Okay, guys. So, here, some zucchini plants coming up really nicely. Here's some kale plants that I will have to transplant now into the medium-sized cell blocks. Look at here. Um, here I have my kale plants. They are so pretty. I want to get these in the ground very soon now. These are the tomato plants now that I will have to transplant. I'm behind on that. Should have done that. Here you have these tiny lettuce plants um, that I wanted to plant straight into the ground here now, very soon. More cabbage and kohlrabi and everything. Here you see um, celery and here you see my leeks. Over here, you have some cucumbers. There you have corn. This is painted mountain corn, beautiful corn. And um, I'm just very happy. It's growing really, really nicely and really strong plant plants because I just open this up and the sun can and the wind, everything gets to these plants. More celery. Here we have some spinach growing. I think I will seed this directly. I just got a cedar. I ordered a cedar and um, I'm really excited to, to get that. So this is really needs to be either planted in the garden now or transplanted into bigger soil blocks because these are getting too big for these tiny, tiny soil blocks. Okay guys, as you see, I've been practicing a little bit. This works fine for me right now, but once I have some return of money if before next season, I will definitely buy and invest in this big soil blocker because this is a lot of work. I have done some modifications here. I drilled two holes through this block all the way up here because this was like a vacuum sucked into this and, and this way it releases lay, um, easier. I also made some cuts in here just to get get that effect better and there, obviously there's some soil that goes in here but let's just see. I just put it like this. I put all my weight on here to make a nice soil block and then I take the whole thing over here and I put it down, put my knee on this lift this up slowly and lift it up all the way and then the problem with this wood is that it really sticks to the soil so the metal of the soil blocker would just come off easily and then you pull it up like this and you know they are not all the same size and uh, some of them break but this is what I have right now it takes a while for me to make these couple hundred salt blocks or something that I have to make, but we'll see how this works.
So I'm right now gonna start another soil block mix here, let it soak for a while. And while it soaks, I'm gonna transplant some tomato plants in these blocks that I made already. This is the new soil that I got this morning and I'm very very happy with it. It's so much nicer than the other soil that I had. And you see just the amount of water that this soil can hold. Now obviously this is a cost with the planting soil and ideally you can make this yourself that you don't have to um, buy potting soil but um, you also have to think that you add a lot of nutrition to to your garden okay so we're gonna let this uh, just soak so the water really gets into everything um, let's see how it works with putting the tomatoes in there The cold frame is already getting too small, that's amazing. So here we have tomatoes. Done. And another one, done. I'm behind. The tomato plants have already um, the roots have gone into each other, into the soil blocks a little bit, so that's not so good. So here you go. Yes, it is some work to make these soil blocks. Um, at the end, I think it took me about 40 seconds for one soil block, these big ones. Now I'm just gonna put it here and I'm gonna have two more trays in front of here. I'm really happy with it. Okay guys, that's it for today. I didn't get the chance to finish uh, filming properly. The um, storage was full on my smartphone, so I couldn't film anymore. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyway. I'm really excited about all these plants. I've transplanted a bunch of the tomatoes right there. Um, it's the next morning right now, and I still have a bunch of tomatoes to transplant there we're getting some nicer weather even though it's supposed to rain now the rest of the day but I hope that um, I will get lots of garden work done I'm expecting a few different things that I need to continue my garden work and um, really excited about that so hope to see you in the next video stay tuned um, also tomorrow Friday I'm going to share a little bit about some thoughts that we have about the channel and uh, the technical side of it. So, hope to see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.